Hi, I'm John Cruz with Worldwide Auctioneers, and I'm here with Levine Restorations. We got Vivian and her wonderful husband Eric, their son Travis, and also we have Jason Stoller here, and uh, they're the partners at Levine Restorations, who I believe are the finest restoration facility for classic cars in the world. And I'm very, very uh, pleased that they are right here in the great state of Indiana. And they have been an integral part of Eldon and Esta uh, Hudson journey. And particularly uh, as they went into showing Hudson's on the Concours circuit. Uh, but what I'd really like to do is just take a few minutes and, and let you all hear about how this relationship uh, started. So Vivian, can you just talk to us a little bit about how that all came to pass and how you started uh, working with them? Well, Eldon and Esta came to us many years ago now looking at the possibility of doing a, a 28 Murphy four-door convertible sedan that they really would like to show at the large concourse shows. And we told them we would be happy to work with them. It was a very interesting project. Um, Esta was absolutely involved in all of the color choices and everything about it. Obviously, authenticity was our main focus. But they were so excited about the whole process of the restoration for that big show, which was going to be Pebble Beach. Um, they've been collecting for quite a few years at the point they came to us but uh, they wanted to take the next step. A lot of the cars they had were already restored cars or then were restored primarily for just local shows or for their own pleasure. So we were able to really go through the whole process of that big show season with them and they just had a ball. They just loved it. And it was a, an exciting thing for us because they were more like family by the point that we finished this car. It was just so wonderful. So that was kind of the first steps with them and then we just did one after another from that point. Now I've had the opportunity to uh, spend some time uh, with JR, their, their son, who's the you know, curator here at the museum, and look through a lot of photos and one of the things that I noticed and, and anyone that ever been out to visit their home would know this, that they really liked flowers and color and beauty. Mm -hmm. And as I was looking through all these photographs and seeing you know, beautiful pho photos of flowers and beautiful cars, uh, it kind of clicked with me. And I wonder if you ever noticed like the, their eye for uh, attractive things, for, for beauty, for color, and frankly, Hudson is unique uh, in the sense that they really provide a lot of that. Did you guys ever you know, notice that in your conversations with them? Well, color was very important. And the brighter, the more um, uh, warm or accepting of the colors to the car that was correct for it, the more they liked it. Red was Esta's favorite color on one of her cars, and that's something that I think that proves her, her vibrance in her color choices and the fact that they like the nature and the color of everything. So I, it was a very important thing, yeah. Now, historically speaking, not too often when you're out, particularly at Pebble Beach and the Concord, do you see a Hudson. And uh, Eric, I think you maybe had some conversations with them. Can you maybe speak to that and kind of how, how did that conversation go? Well, when, when we found out that what car it was that Eldon wanted to do for Pebble Beach, um, we, we show cars at Pebble Beach every year, so we know the people there. And, and uh, when it comes time to send in the information on the car, uh, it's, it's not like you say, I want to bring my car. They, Pebble Beach is very selective and they, they tell you, yes, you can or no, you can't, you know. And, and we found out that it was going to be the first time that a Hudson had ever uh, made it to the show field on Pebble Beach grounds. 
So we thought, oh, this could get interesting. <laughs> you know? And uh, but when we got to the show with the car, um, it was amazing. The judges just went completely crazy for that car. Uh, they made the comment that they could look at a Packard or they could look at a Cadillac and and they knew, you know, what what equipment those cars had and, and what was what was normal for the car but they said we could look at this car all day and and not realize that this was a Hudson you know and and then it won first in class and Elden was just ecstatic I, I know that anytime you're doing something for the first time or new in that kind of environment, there's a little bit of extra pressure maybe. And, and obviously uh, the work that you guys did was spectacular. The partnership that you had, the relationship with them as the owners, uh, I think that that's really what our hobby is all about. Yeah, we mm -hmm. want to have the best if we can, but it would seem to me, and you know, tell me if you'd noticed that the judges and the folks even at, at Pebble Beach, the, the mecca of the universe for all those car people, uh, I think they probably sensed you guys' relationship and how that came out on the car. Mm -hmm. uh, well, pressure is the name of the game at Pebble Beach. You know, you not only from the, the cars that are in your class and the competition, but the pressure of having the car there, making sure the owners are happy, you know, and all this type of thing. And everything was just, it was a perfect day that day. You know, everything, everything went like you like it to go. And so everyone was happy. And when they called that first step, first prize award, uh, we just all cheered. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. And rightfully so. That's great. Well, you know, there, there are a number of excellent restorers in, in the country. But one of the super special things that, that I love about you guys is that you've got some really rock star youngsters <laughs> that are right there in the midst of this and, and are, are involved, engaged, and participating in uh, everything that has to do with running a, a restoration company. And I'd like to shift over and kind of talk to, to you guys. And, you know, both uh, Travis and Jason, you guys have been uh, around this specific collection. I've been part of these cars. Uh, just tell me how that started. What was your, the biggest first remembrance that you had, Travis? We'll start with you with Eldon Esta and these, these Hudsons. My first experience of being able to go for Levine Restorations and show a car 2012 Pebble Beach and incidentally that was the 27 Roadster that we did for Elton and Esta and that was uh, unfortunately Elton wasn't there that year but upon returning home and getting to be a part of that because of the reputation that they had previously with Elton and Esta and that wonderful experience and seeing my parents and the respect that they have out there and just the fun that went along with that that was my first introduction to them even though they weren't there and that just kind of carried on from that point in time. And when I finally got to meet Elden and Nesta in person, I mean, you spend any time around them and they were just fun. They were fun, cracking jokes, having a good time. And they were some of my favorite people that I could have dealt with when I was getting involved into this business. Um, and it was just kind of a natural progression from there. Esta would always crack jokes about, you know, anything. Are you going to be my date for this thing or is it going to be something like that? And then Eldon would kind of jab back at me and I'd get caught in the middle of it. And it was just fun. And I, I really had a great time getting to know them uh, through the last car that we had with the 31. And it was kind of a fun first step into getting back into this business. And it was in large part due to those kind of relationships. Awesome. Jason. So I got to spend a little bit of time with Elvin Nesta, particularly on that 31 Travis was just talking about and sort of watching them 
I guess the goal originally was just to kind of, you know, spruce up the car a little bit and not, not go the full restoration. And then, you know, Eldon just couldn't stand to see it stay like that. So that was really neat just to see that transformation and how much he really cared about the cars. And then any time they would call the shop, just talking to either one of them was a really <laughs> special experience. You could just tell they were genuinely nice people and really enjoyable to talk to you. And for me, as uh, being someone that's certainly from Indiana and, and you know, facilitating this auction, you know, I see a, a really neat parallel that as, as we look at, you know, Eric and Vivian, you guys have been doing this for a long time at, at a very high level and done some great stuff for them and, you know, being able to actually participate and be a part of, you know, Travis and Jason jumping on board and, and really the uh, phenomenal uh, legacy that you guys have built and are continuing to uh, perpetuate. And as we look at these cars, you know, you guys were a part of it. So many people are part of what uh, Eldon and Esta did. And now because of this auction, everybody has a chance to be part of that uh, legacy mm -hmm. and I'm so excited to to find out who uh, some of the ultimate buyers on on these cars are going to be and I can tell you from the conversations I've already had uh, there's going to be some special people uh, that are going to end up with these cars that that really understand and appreciate what they are uh, how special Hudson uh, was and is and uh, I'm, I'm excited about uh, everyone as they learn more about uh, Hudson's, as they learn more about Eldon and Esta, and I think everybody's gonna want to be part of, of this group of cars. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, I'm excited about that. I, uh, I always think back to the, we, we were up at St. John's when they were still having the auctions up there and there was a step down convertible there that Elton was looking at, was kind of interested in buying it. And uh, it went for big, big, bigger money than it should have, you know. And Elton was kind of complaining about, I, I can't believe somebody paid that for that car. I said, Elton, that's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> he he kind of looked at me and he says, I guess maybe you're right. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, funny. you know, the, the first, you know, the Murphy body town car mm -hmm. that we talked about that, you know, won best in class at Pebble was the first, but there were several more right. to follow. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about some of those cars. I think the Railton was oh, the yeah. ultimate. People were absolutely blown away by that car. There were so many things about it, the features that, that you just didn't, you never even considered on a Hudson. Obviously it was a custom body car and where it was bodied was in Europe, so, or England actually. So you really, it's, it is a little bit more of that refined um, European types of cars that had so many things that we just never look at in the U.S. with its its T presentation in the back and the little mirrors and all of the things that people would have, the proper people would have used at that time. It was just so amazing and people would not leave that car alone when it was out on the show field. They just wanted more and more and more, you know, so it was, that was exciting and Eldon and Esta just loved that car. So um, that was quite an experience in itself. Mm -hmm. It was. Everyone that sees that car, to this day, when you can go in and take a look in the back seat and you see the three compartments fold out and there's a decanter and a bottle of aspirin, which yeah, is the most was hilarious the original. part yeah. for the hangover, of course. Yeah. But uh, that car is just incredible. There's and an original had, pack of cigarettes in yeah. the yeah. car, too. <laughs> Some of the features on that, too, are just things that you don't think about, like mm -hmm. pop-out turn signals. How neat is that? Mm -hmm. You know, at that time, for pop-out certain turn signals yeah. to be on a car, the fact that the the boot on it was designed to hold the weight of a man hunting, you know, 
as you do casually hunt out of the back yeah. of your Well, it was, you know, an, your it was an estate car. Yeah. It was yeah. supposed to be out in an estate, and they had a place underneath it for them to store their rifles so that if they were going out shooting, they could, you know, take them out and get up on the platform and shoot off of it and that. So it was really well thought out for yeah, that was, type of a car. The uh, trunk lid, when it folds down, was supposed to support the weight of two men back there. Yeah. And, so it was quite amazing. And as the story goes, when the car got shipped over from England, everything went with the car except the guns. Yeah. Because it originally had a set of uh, guns, guns that came with, with the car. Wow, cool. And they wouldn't let them ship those. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't let them go across <laughs> the border. But um, it had everything else. Every tool, uh, every little minute thing that was with the car new is still there. Yeah. So it's an amazing. Well, I'll tell you, as our team has been around the cars and you know preparing them for mm -hmm. auction, uh, every single one of them, they're like, man, that thing is awesome. <laughs> and you know, I think number one, that's a testament to you know, the quality of work that, that you folks do. It's also a testament to how special that car is. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, it's, it, we can all sit here and look at it and enjoy that, but the countless hours, days, weeks, months, years it takes to, to pull something right. from what it starts as mm -hmm. to being completely redone. And you know, the time that you guys obviously spent with them and you know, it's not like you have one meeting and you're done. No, they... uh, I mean, t tell us, just, just give us a, a quick behind the scenes of, of what it looks like to get a car restored to that level. Well, when they first um, brought us the idea to do the car and he had located it and had it and we, we started going into the authenticity, which we knew very much about because it was so complete. It, it was just so much fun for them to, to really literally go through each drawer and know what was in there. And, and Esther was so excited about the interior and how the colors would have to be there. The right materials, the right, you know, the right colors had to be the right exterior color. And it, there again, it's, uh, it, it is a long process. It took us about a year and a half to do that car. And when we did it with them, the whole idea of knowing that, that these somebody back is sat in that back seat that was the original owner and it you could really see what it would feel like to be in an elegant setting of an inside of a car and make sure that we presented it that way when it was all complete. So it was a lot of fun. But yeah. They were really great to work with and very good friends too. So it made it even more special. So there were times when we had to kind of rein Eldon in a little bit on his colors because <laughs> he loved bright Color. colors, you know. <laughs> and uh, it was really interesting. We found working origi with him. yeah, we found original color on that car, so we knew where yeah. it needed to stay on on the railton itself, but on the other colors. We always tried to find the the original colors as close as we possibly could. So. The Murphy Roadster has, is, is that the original, original color. color. Yeah. yeah. Fun thing about doing a car like that and really doing it as as we do, and with authenticity being everything, the research portion of these cars is a huge yeah, aspect yeah. that I don't think a lot of people realize. But that's what brings these cars to life. And with owners like that, that they, you know, they care about those things. That aspect of these cars was so fun. Even with the 31, going through the original sketches of those cars and going through original photos and doing the research onto the U chassis and how that was the longest chassis that Hudson ever made and those fun things, they love that because it brings a car to life. It gives it context. And the fun thing about research with cars of that era it's not just the cars research it's mm -hmm. what was going on in 1931 mm -hmm. what was going on in the u.s what was going on overseas and they love that and, and owners love that that's what brings these cars to life so that that aspect of doing these cars is something that i think they really appreciated and enjoyed it's always enjoyable when you can work with somebody that that gets it and you can have a common goal of i want it to be right I want it to be the best, and we want everybody else to be able to enjoy it, which I think mm -hmm. they did a great oh, job of, yeah. you know, doing that. And even, uh, I know, Jason, you had mentioned uh, even when, when maybe they couldn't go to an event, I think you'd taken some right. cars for Travis them. and I took a, a, just the one car right to St. John's for them that year. Yeah, it was a 36, right? 36, yeah, the, the yellow one. Mm -hmm. Showed it for Eldon, and it won an award, and he was, you know, ecstatic about that, and it was, mm -hmm. it was great for us to 
be a part of that. And it's special to have somebody that, you know, obviously it's fun for them, but even if they weren't gonna be there, couldn't be there, to still be able to share the car with other people is pretty, mm -hmm. pretty cool. Absolutely, mm -hmm. their whole thing yeah. was to bring those cars out for the enjoyment and understanding of the Hudson itself. And their point, when, when any of these cars were out there, they wanted to be sure they were original so no one would take advantage of it and not you know, perpetuate a problem in a, that was not real to Hudson. They wanted them to be the real thing. So it was very important to them to, to share it with everybody. Hudson was their life for their, most of their married life together, actually. Mm -hmm. It was a very big thing, so. Um, and the shows that Eldon was able to go to at Pebble Beach, they always dressed up in period clothing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were a wonderful couple. Yeah. They took a lot of pictures of Eldon in his chapeau in the back seat of the oh, car. And yeah. He looked like everyone commented he looked like Teddy Roosevelt, was yeah. it? J. Edgar Hoover. J. Edgar yeah. Hoover, I'm yeah. sorry, yeah. One of the judges yeah. even asked him one time out there, do you know who you look like? And Eldon said, yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But yeah, it was, and Esta being the ultimate lady, she always looked so perfect in any of the cars when she was riding mm -hmm. in them. So, very special. A lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. Well, great. Well, you know, I, on behalf of the collector car community, I'd like to thank you guys for uh, what you do and for what you did for uh, not just Eldon and Esta and Hudson's, but, but really for for all of us collectors and enthusiasts out there. So you know, thank you guys very much, it's awesome.